Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abel. We're back with Death Stranding. Now, last time things got a whole lot more confusing, and for this game, that's something because already this has been a strange game, and now it's just got weirder. Uh, we uh, found ourselves at South Knot City last time. We went outside, and we seemingly got took back in time to like war time, like World War Two, World War One. Not quite sure when we are. It might even be early. That it might be like Afghanistan or something. I don't know when the time was. But we were in a war zone, in trenches, and we found Unger, Mads Mikkelsen's character, who uh, looked like he was after our BB, uh, and we had the flashback of like him taking the BB from, um, I think her name's Lisa, the, the sort of the mother in the coma, and got caught. Uh, but um, what I noticed, like in the editing, when Unger is trying to get hold of the baby, of the bridge baby, we see a fl we see that flashback, but previously flashbacks have got, gone through the baby, but this one focused on Sam, which tells me that Sam has some link to this person. I'm not sure what that is. So that happened. We also uh, actually met Mama in person for the first time last time, and we found out why she couldn't leave her lab because she'd given birth to a BT that was still connected to her. If she leaves that lab she loses the connection to her baby, to her BT baby. So that's what happened there. Still not really clear about how that actually happened. But, I mean, this game, I don't know how much this game will explain itself. I've no idea. But anyway, we're in South Knot City. Or are we? Uh, where are we? We are in South North City. Okay. Yeah. So I've uh, done quite a bit off camera. I've done a few other orders and bits and pieces. Uh, and I've rebuilt more of the road up until about here so we've got a road going all the way through the distro center and we've done a little bit further on so this is the next bit we need to rebuild basically what i did was i got a bunch of stuff from the tonsil farm that was there there's an awful lot there so i took all those metals um there was loads of ceramics there but we couldn't take everything rebuilt some more roads uh, and then i basically claimed a load of materials from other sites so from the distro center from i think lake knot city uh, we just got a bunch of uh, materials claimed uh, and yeah we built more of the road so now our next job is we have to go to there's a a way station around here somewhere like that's where we're going next if we go to our orders uh so we've got emergency provisions which we're taking to the distro center and then when we get there we'll have an order to take up to the way station uh, there's also an auto delivery there which is being done so the first thing we're doing today is we're going to the distro center again and you can see we've got a brand new color truck uh i did one mission and it gave me some more colors for my trucks and bikes so i've got a lovely white truck with some nice sort of blue roofing it looks quite cool hopefully we don't lose it but the way there is pretty uh it's pretty simple i think so hopefully we'll be okay uh, I did run into some BTs off camera. Um, as you leave this area, you do see some BTs because there's more uh, links to the current network. It does make it a bit more hostile, if that makes sense. So that's kind of what's going on. So off we go. So you can see that one there is almost fully rebuilt. And then we've got these zip lines as well. Now, this is something that. Uh, that we got told about. In fact, let's see if we can try these out. How do these work? Because this can be a much, much quicker way of getting around. But I'm not quite sure how they work. Zip lines enable the distance between two anchors to be covered quickly and safely. Alright, so if we use the zip line. Zip to other end. Okay. So that takes us to here. And then there's another one up there. Is this Mama making all these or have these been made by other players? I'm not quite sure. But that is pretty interesting. You've got this massive zip line that sends up here. Don't know if there's another one around. You can see that waterfall there. We don't want to be going anywhere in that. But yeah, these are zip lines. So I guess you can make these 
and uh, it uh, so I think there were BTs around here before if I remember this is where we've got a bunch of uh, stuff but you can use these to travel around a lot quicker I guess um, I'll be, I guess like, even if we go back to the previous area like the eastern region there might be a chance to go around even quicker and get a bunch of orders done at some point but that's really really cool so dismount the zip line and that's what they do um we've got our otter hat on by the way i did i wonder why it wasn't a hat it's not it's just like an extension to your hood so that's what that is so let's get back in our truck it's in the rain which isn't ideal uh but let's see where we're going um right on let's try and set a waypoint if we can to the distress center which i think is that it is so let's go So there's a lot of uh, Cairo crystals on the ground. I have sort of been around this area before because there was um, a few bits we had to collect around here. So that's kind of what I've done. Um, is that BTs or is that mules? I think that's BTs because it looks like the Pac-Man ghost. Is there a better way to get around maybe? If we could just keep going north. Yeah. We're going to have to go through this way. Do we have any grenades or anything on us? Um, I did try and take everything that was in the lockers here. So you can see these are all the emergency provisions that are going there. We've got an anti-BT handgun. I did quite try using those and they were quite good. And we do have some hematic grenades as well. How many? Oh, just one. Okay. We could have done with a bit more than that maybe. Um, oh, we've got loads of metals as well. So we can look at rebuilding roads sort of on the way here as well. If I find the next uh, place to make a road... I can do that. Um, that's going to be the cosplay. I've got no interest in picking that up. That's going to the junk dealer. Where's this road? Okay, it's, it's, it's not far away. This should be quite an easy trip, hopefully. Uh, but that's going down into the cosplayer a bit, so we don't want to be going down there. This is, I don't think we do. Unless we go down and then up the other side. Actually, no, this is okay. Where are we? Oh, we're here. Okay. I didn't really want to be coming back here, but hopefully we can get over with minimal difficulty. Oh, I've just interrupted someone. That's the ah, right. That's the collector. As a reminder, Sam, when carrying deadly weapons, it's absolutely essential that you exercise restraint. Doubt I need to say it, but. Right, I've more negated the scanner. More more okay, yeah, so we. Uh, that is something I mentioned. So, what De Harbin's saying there basically is uh, if you kill anyone, you know, you have to get rid of their bodies because if they necrotize, that can cause another void out. So, that's not something that you want to be doing. Um, I'm interested in this collector. Where is he? Because that's the distress center, isn't it? Where's this collector? I want to get the waypoint there. Okay, so he's in there. How did I get over this last time? There must be an easier way to get over. There's a bridge over there. Let's try and use that bridge. But, yeah, we're going through mule camp here, which is never good. Right. Oh, who are they going after? Right, let's make a jump over there. Right, now let's speed things up a bit, because if they get us, if they shock our vehicle, then that means that they can, uh, it will just cut it out it will just stop so that's not what we want to do so what we did last time last time I was here we went up and around the outside so that's what we're going to do again we're going to try and go up around the outside and they're going after us now so that's not good oh and the truck's battery's low as well but there is a generator there so let's see if we can 
get it charged a little bit before we do anything else. Anyone coming this way? Doesn't look like it. That's good. There's lots of battery on this as well. Okay, that's that sorted out. Right, and now we're out of the mule camp as well. So, that's good. And you can see there's the road as well that we've um, sort of partially rebuilt. Now, where was this collector? See, we've just gone like right past it, so I don't know where he was. In there somewhere, because it's an area that we don't have. Uh, we don't have network coverage, so I do need to try and do that at some point. But I'm not sure when. To be honest, I should have done it off camera, but never mind. All right, back at the distro center. These trucks, man. All right. Um, okay, there's another truck there. That's not our truck, is it? No, that's Argento. All right, so let's deliver these supplies then. And then I'll show you where we're going. Uh, make delivery. There we go, 12 out of 12, so that's done. So we'll get those bits delivered. Yeah, we had like no trouble there. All right, hopefully that will get us a few levels. That should be an S because there's no damage to them. We get an S. Bot delivery has also been done. Uh, they always get C's. That's always going to happen. Any more levels? We're at 198 now. We're an elite transporter. No change in taking a break from time to time. Yeah, I know. I'm not long started. Good work. But I think that's just what he says by review. default. Please All right. We can look at rebuilding some more road, or we can start heading towards the uh, new way station. So this is the new one. Building materials delivery going to the way station. Now it's 80 kilograms. That's a lot. Let's listen to the briefing. I've heard this, the but it's for you. The way for is far north of Mountain Knot, and on a patch of land carved into an island by terrorists. Right around Higgs' old stomping grounds. Still crawling with its demons, in fact. Anyway... The way station is falling apart and needs extensive repairs. Collect the supplies from the distro center and hit the road as soon as you can. So that's the one that we're going to be taking. Five containers of building materials. So we're going to accept that order. We are going to rebuild some road before we do that. Uh, anything that we need to take with us? Uh, no, we've got bits there. Um... You can see that we don't have a lot of materials here because I, I took a lot of them to rebuild roads and stuff. Uh, we need some more hematic grenades. Let's get a couple of them just in case we run into BTs. Uh, but that's going to be all. So we'll fabricate that. Uh, and then we've got our truck. Uh, there's our reverse trike as well. Uh, again, we've got some more colours. So we've got like a sandy colour with a bit of red. Uh, but we're going to leave that here. I don't think we did that. We've got this truck and we're going to use that. Right, so uh, let's load these bits onto the vehicle then. Uh, and the ceramics, I think we'll try and maybe put to us. Uh, can we load them in the grenade pouch? No. Uh, tool rack, maybe? Okay, I think we're good. I think we're there. Uh, oh, there's lots of stuff in the storage here as well. Lots of private locker stuff. Yeah, we have an awful lot of stuff. Um, but before we actually make this trip, I am going to go ahead and see if we can rebuild some more road because we have a lot of materials on us. So we're going to see if that's something we can do. So we're going to follow the road that has been rebuilt and we're just going to try and uh, build a little bit more of it so it makes uh, trips to South Knox just a bit easier. But I don't think we're going to be coming back here uh, story-wise for a while. But we're going to rebuild some more of this road. Actually, can we build road further north? Or is, I think it's just one road that goes straight from Lake Knot to South Knot. I don't think you can make... I don't think there is a road to make that's going this way. Unless we just can't see it because um, 
the way station is not on the network. I'm not quite sure. But Middle Knot City is up there somewhere. And we can't get to it because it's it's up that mountain. So it's just a bit difficult to get to. But this is where we're going to continue trying to rebuild this road. You can see all it needs is, I think, some ceramics and maybe a few metals. Um, let's try and get a bit closer, just so it can recognise the cargo that's on our truck. Because that does happen sometimes. You need to be a bit closer so that the um, okay. so that the paver recognises what's on your truck. So let's go into the structure menu and see what we can add to this. Rebuild roads. So ceramics. Uh, in fact, metals is okay. So it's just the ceramics that we need. That almost gets it, doesn't it? Have we got any more ceramics on this? No, we don't. So it's not quite there. It just needs some ceramics. Okay, so this needs, again, quite a few ceramics. But we can, we can put some metals in here. So we'll do that trying to help out as much as we can uh, so metals will do that and that and that's enough uh, in fact this one doesn't even need any metal that only needs ceramics so again we can go a bit further on uh, where's the next one next one is there so up there somewhere uh, this looks like it might be a bit too Actually, no, it's not too deep. That's fine. We're over. Uh, next paver is somewhere around here. Uh, I think that's it there. There it is. Okay, so this one, we can give some metals. Uh, that has no ceramics on it, though. But the way to get these is to just raid mule camps. We haven't done that in a while. We just have the stuff from when we did that first raid. But if you keep raiding mule camps, you'll get loads of supplies. So, again, we'll probably use almost all up we'll just get rid of all of our metals on here so that gets up to 1600 and you get a bunch of likes for this as well so it's definitely worth doing if you want like you can see that we have 164,000 likes and a lot of that is from road rebuilding okay so that's all done we are going to head back to uh try and find this way station thing is the time fall is damaging our vehicle so I'm going to very quickly put it in the garage and take it back out because that will uh, fully, that will fully repair it, like both the charge and the um, the chiralium sort of uh, wear. If that makes sense, like the erosion, not erosion, because that only happens to rocks. But there's something here that we need to try and get back on the network. So I'm not sure how we're going to do that because that bit there is disconnected from the network. I'm not sure how we go around doing that. There must be stuff we have to deliver there, but we'll come back and do it another time. And also, while we're here, we've got a lot of stuff. So we can probably try and offload a few bits, uh, either in the share locker or recycle them. If we uh, maybe donate weapons. See, we've got two floating carriers, which uh, I don't think we really need two of them. Two rifles, two guns, lots of anchors, uh, lots of grenades. In fact, let's put some of those grenades in there. We won't need all of those. Uh, normal grenades we'll keep I don't think we really need these now but we'll take them with us three ladders level one PCCs we don't need because level twos are better uh, we've got six blood bags I don't think we really need six let's take four uh, I think that should be plenty so we're gonna share these bits out and again get some more likes for bits like that so let's store the vehicle and then we'll get it back out again so we're making some progress now we are Treading untrodden land, for us at least. I'm sure other people have gone that way. But we are starting a new journey now. So I think we're heading northwest, I think we're heading. So let's get our map out. And let's set a way station. Uh, set a waypoint for the way station. Now I'm not sure what the best way to get up this will be. It looks like there's a road that goes up this way. Unless that's a ravine. I'm not quite sure what that is. Uh, but there's a ladder there. So we've got to try and work out the best way to get up there. Uh, so we're heading back over this way. Uh, okay, so it's up there. So there's a mule camp there, which we're going to have to try and get across. 
Um, either that or we could go along the top and see if that works. But let's uh, let's go and let's see how we can get across here. Of course, looking out for cargo and all sorts as well. Um, crystals, which we're always going to need. Some more over there, we'll go and grab them. And there's some there as well. And the lost cargo, now that cargo is literally going to that distro center, so we could go and take that back now. But if it's still there when we come back, we'll do it that time. Someone else will do it as well. Anyone can pick up lost cargo, it doesn't have to be us. All right, so straight away here, we've got a pretty large uh, lake to cross, a river. And this looks like it's probably going to be too deep. Um, in fact, no, it should be okay. If it's yellow, that means you can get across it in a vehicle. If it's red, that means it's too deep. So here's the mule camp. I don't know if we've um, dealt with this one yet. I'm not quite sure. Again, we'll try and neutralise their Odra deck, which we've done. I'm going to go after this metal here. But I don't think we can get across that, because that yellow, I think, means it's too deep for us. So, do you know what we can do? We can use the sticky gun, which is on our truck. Right, let's go and get that now. Let's get some stuff on our truck that we might need now. Uh, so, we'll get a bowler gun in case there's BTs. Uh, sticky gun is what we're looking for now. Anti-BT handgun, an anchor, a repair spray. I don't know what the custom car ladder is. I'll have to have a look at that. Um, don't need the EX grenades, really. Chromatic grenades, a ladder, and a PCC. And we'll just carry that on our back. So if we get out our sticky gun, which is this one, we can shoot the metals and do that. Now that has attracted some attention. There's people coming. So we're just gonna reverse out the area. Oh, there's someone literally right on the top there. Oh, they've seen me. They've seen me. Right, let's get out of here. Okay, so now we've left their area. They're going to leave us alone. There's someone over there as well. So how do we get across here undetected? It is the question. See, look at all the, these, like, little ponds and rivers and stuff. Okay, now they've seen me. Okay, right, we've lost that. That's fine. Oh, that was very close. That was very close. As was that. Right, let's get over here. Oh, that was right over our heads. Okay, right. We got past, now it's time to head up here. This is where we're going now. No, I'm going the wrong way. Sam, you're going the wrong way. Oh, uh, don't hit our truck, please. Please don't hit our truck. Oh, God, that was very close. I heard that. That was even closer. Oh, I hate, I hate these controls of this truck.
Right. Okay. We're there. We're done. Let's get up this hill. Okay, we're good. Right, is there anything up here? Oh, there's some metals ahead. We are going to take those metals. Okay. So, uh, we've got rain. Are there BTs here is the question. I don't know. Um, but we'll pick up those metals just ahead. Oh, okay. We should have charged our battery. Uh, and we are outside of a chiral network. So, uh, that wasn't clever. We can't make anything, can we? In fact, are we just outside? Are we just inside one? Okay. Can we make a generator up here? Uh, PCC. Oh, we can. Awesome. Right, that's very lucky. Right, where were those metals? Okay, they're just there. Let's pick them up. Oh, we've got a cave. And we have music. Okay, this is very interesting. Well, our generator's done. We can shelter from the time fall in here. I do want to check. It's going to go away in 10 minutes. So we can wait out for 10 minutes and just wait for this rain to stop. I wonder if we can actually do that. Like, will it let us, like... Fast forward 10 minutes if I do that. If not, I don't want to be just sitting here for 10 minutes doing nothing. I'll cut it out in the video, of course, but I don't want to be sitting down for 10 minutes and doing nothing. But we're always told, like, right at the start of the game to use shelter to get out of time fall or use time fall shelters. We can use this to shelter from the rain and wait for it to pass. And just listen to the music. There's some crystals above us. See, if we rest, is there a way that we can just pass 10 minutes while this rain stops? Is that something we can do? We can sleep. But it doesn't say anything about waiting 10 minutes, unfortunately. So I think we might have to actually wait for this rain to stop. Do you know, I'm sorry, I can't do this. I can't be waiting around for 10 minutes doing nothing. I lasted two. I'm so impatient. But worst comes to worst, we can repair the stuff with our container repair spray. Uh, so where are we going? We're heading up there, aren't we? So let's remove markers. Let's set a new waypoint. And work out where it is we're going. What is that over there? There's another mule camp. So that's going east. So that's where the craftsman is. And that's the ruined shelter in there. Well, we're heading sort of up this way still. There's crystals there. There's some up there. Oh, there's some right up there. Never find yourselves bloody perpendicular on a hill, whatever you do, because this is <laughs> this is not good. Rain does stop right as soon as you get out of here though, so that was a bit of a waste of a couple of minutes really. Okay, is that where we're going? Or is that the weather? I think that is it. Yeah, that's it. 
So we could, we, yeah, we probably could have gone up that way. But um, we need to find another way around. We need to go along, this, along here, really. everything all right how do we do how do we get up here then oh someone's delivering materials to the paper that might be the odd correct the odd um, ceramics they needed for some of those they might end up getting getting mended right how do we get That's another auto paver there, isn't it? So maybe there is a way to get up here with the road then. But I think we're going to have to go down here and then go up there. That seems to be the easiest way to do this. Oh, we're causing a lot of damage to our stuff though. With all these rocks. And now we're sideways again. Wow, we just did a full 180. Ruined roadside factory. Is there anyone here? No, just cargo. Can we cross this? We can. Right, something tells me this is BT territory, and our, our lorry, our truck, is getting very uh, damaged in this time for We can give some crystals to this um, auto paper. If that goes up that way. So let's, um, let's, uh, oh, and those metals as well. Uh, we're going to keep a few behind. There we go. Get started on that one. There's more crystals behind us. There's some lost cargo that we already saw. Alright. So I'm not sure what this area is, if there's something that happens here later on, but this is what is it? An abandoned factory, did that say? Does this show up? No, it doesn't, but the two water pavers do. That's what's up there that we're going get these um, bits as well. I'm hoping that at this way station we can actually um, store our truck. If we can't then we're going to have to go back onto the road and then to Lake Knock. Which doesn't look too bad actually. That looks like it's definitely doable. So that's actually not that far to go. Where's this? So what's this going? That's going to the district centre. Cryptobiots, which we don't really need right now. We've got a lot, a lot of them. Right, let's see how easy it is going up this way. Um, okay, this doesn't look too bad, thankfully. Battery is okay. It's at about half. Okay, we're looking good. We're looking good. I think we tried to go the more difficult way up. This way seems to be much easier. So we try to get around those little bits for no reason, really. But it's okay. We're fine. I'm trying to think. I don't think way stations have um, have places to store vehicles. I don't think they have garages. What we could do though is when we get this on the network, we can create a base camp. There we go, done. Right, 
Okay. So it should pick up the stuff that's on our truck. I can see it flashing, so that should pick it up. Let's get out of this rain, and let's get these bits delivered. You've reached the marker. Okay. Make delivery. So, five out of five. Partial delivery unavailable. We can complete the order. Hopefully the condition's okay. It might have taken a bit of damage on the back of the truck, but we'll see. Who have we got here then? Anyone oh, famous? You must be Sam Bridges. That's Our me. Man expedition team. We may be cut off up here, but word still travels. We've heard all about the great deliverer, the BT Buster, the terrorist, the uh, stopper. I'm still working on that last one. <clears throat> well, I'm just stoked to meet you, man. So, what you got for us? Whoa, all that stuff incredible. that I just delivered. This will be a huge help. Yeah, it will. Thanks. You're not going to even recognize the way station one went through. Are you going on the network? I um, guess we'll wait and see. Yes, we get an S. Uh, chemicals can now be used at all UCF affiliated facilities. The amount of materials that can be used at the way station north of Mountain Lot City has increased. Chemicals? Okay, that's something we haven't really dealt with yet. Does that get us up to 200 yet? Yeah, Master Transporter. None can deny your indomitable strength of will. And cargo condition grade 30. You will now be able to keep your balance more easily. Good. That's excellent news. All right. All we need now is to get Jack into the network. Am I right? Yes, we go. Here we go. Right, skip this. Let's see if this is someone we recognise. So you can see the area down the south there, where the collector is. We haven't actually... Uh, Establish that strand yet, so we need to work on that. Um, armor plate as well, and a non-lethal assault rifle. History of the Odridek. Okay, landslides. And mules to the left, and I don't know what that is up top. No idea. Man, it sure feels good to be part of the UCA for real. We've Charles Khan. Way too long. I can't wait to reconnect with everyone at HQ. Patching up this place is going to take some work, but I'm feeling revved up and ready to go. Like I don't recognise him. We won't let our country down. The That's only people who recognise so far are Conan and um, Edgar Wright afterwards. Hit the West Coast before you know it. See you later. Hello, Hardman. Next, you need to extend the network to the distro center north of the city. Now would be a damn good time to do it too, as they just sent out an SOS call. Info oh still coming in, but it looks like there's been an accident and we've got injured in need of assistance. Check the delivery terminal for details. Accident or uh Good work. or an attack. Alright, so this is on the strand. Now we can't store our vehicle, but what we could do is we can see if we could, or if someone already has, set up a um what'd you call it? A safe house, that's what we're, what I'm looking for. Um, we've got another PCC on this, haven't we? Or do we not? No, we've got one on the truck, though. So let's see if we can set up a, um, a safe house. We'll have to use materials to build it, which we don't really have right now. But if we get a PCC on us, and we can look at making one. And then if there's materials here, we can claim those. But let's see if we can make one of these. Uh, let's get the PCC ready. Uh. No can do, Sam. Structures can't be built that close together. Okay. You'll need to settle for a different spot outside the sensor ring. Oh, here we go. I think I'll be a sensible place to put one because I don't think anyone else has. So that'll print that. And then I guess we need to use materials to actually make it. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Yeah, so we need three hundred coral crystals and twenty four hundred uh, of special alloys. Um, I'm not sure where we'll get those. 
Actually, there must be some somewhere. I think I sent a load to a bunch of places. Um, I recycled loads that I had because I didn't know what they were used for. Um, someone's got a shelter there, so that's good at least. All right. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to see what the orders next. I'm going to end things off here, but I'm just going to have a look at what our next order is going to be. I think we're going to try and once again do a few bits off camera and try and um, no get off your watch and try and um, get that safe house ready so that we can um, store our truck. Uh, I'm not going to look at the fabricator stuff yet, just yet. So we've got more orders. So urgent blood delivery to the distro center north of Mountain Knot City. So that is going, he said north, but it's more east than north. Oh, west, sorry. I don't know directions. Uh, what is that? Is that a stadium? It looked like it, but I don't think that's what it is. So they're going there. Uh, and we've got 40 minutes to get there. And it's areas that we haven't really been yet. So that's not going to be easy. And then the standard orders. Uh, some coffee stuff going back to the craftsman reports uh, to the distro center and medication to the weather station oh, I don't want to go to the weather station that's the worst uh, bot deliveries that's going to the craftsman it's not too far so we'll just send that on that way Deploying. we'll just send that uh, but yeah uh, I'm gonna try and get that safe house all built before next time and I'm also gonna see if I can get that collector on the network because that bit there we're missing uh, and then hopefully we can mend our truck because it's a bit uh it's a bit banged up after that journey and after that all that um time fall damage so uh, hopefully we'll do okay there uh, but for now guys thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video drop a like down below leave comments and if you haven't done so already or if you're new do consider subscribing and sending the notifications uh, that's going to be it for today's video hope you enjoyed it and i will see you soon goodbye